But how were there four days if there wasn't a sun and a moon yet? This is a wonderful, wonderful question. It's great because what he's asking is, how could there be day when there wasn't any sun created yet? And also, how could you create the vegetation on day three before you create the sun on day four? This is a very, very important question. It's something that people stumble on all the time. So I want to take the time to remind you guys that you have to read the Bible. You can't listen to even Christians who tell you what they think. You can't even listen to pastors. You have to read the Bible for yourself because that is the source of truth. Now, let's read the Bible. And I'm going to read from the NIV Genesis 1 and verse 2. All right. So it says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and he separated light from the darkness. God called the light day. What did God need to create a day? Did he need the sun? No. He said the light was day. And the darkness he called night. Okay. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. So the evening and the morning made the first day. Now we live in a fallen world run by the devil. And everything the devil does is opposite to what God does. So today we have morning going to evening to make the first, to make days, sorry. But in God's original creation, it was the evening and the morning that made the day. So God's day was when he separated the light from the darkness. It did not require you having a sun. God did not create light. He said, let there be light because God is light. How could God create himself? Right? God is light. He's also love. But he said, let there be light. And once you had light, that became the day and the darkness, he called it night. All right. Then let's talk about the vegetation. So God created the vegetation on the third day. Then he created the lights and he said let the greater light rule the day and the lesser light rule the night. It didn't say the greater light is the day. It ruled the day. So the day already existed before the greater light was created to rule that day. Notice that God didn't call it sun. He called it greater light and lesser light. It's later on with Roman mythology, they started to name these things sun. And all the planets are named after, after Roman mythical creatures and gods. All demonic, right? So God never called it sun. God never called it moon. He called it the greater light and it ruled the day. The day already existed, but the light, the greater light ruled the day. The lesser light ruled the night, which the light already existed. The first thing he created was day and night. That was the first thing, regardless of sun and moon. 